And uh, yeah, I don't know where this will go, but um, I think so it's going to be good. The big issue I don't find any of these are really sorting out yet is what does the user actually get in return? Well, I can see that with the TV shows. Well, yeah, you can see what other people are doing. And what you get to discuss it with people. That I'd love that, like, I'm watching an obscure TV show, no one's around, but I'd love to talk about it in real time. That I'm yeah. most, most of the time when I watch a movie, the first thing I do is jump onto a forum somewhere and see what other people think. Yeah. I want to do it in real time. Well, see, but... I know that, uh, especially with Foursquare and the other ones where it's just you check in and that's mm. it and they try and entice you with badges and the whole competition oh very and much friend, so friend competition. It's, it's like do 50 I mean, likes and you get a sticker but, I mean, not really but sticker. the value of the exchange seems to be more on the side of the companies that are collecting all that data mm. it becomes a game again, I guess that, the, the reason why these companies are so big right now we should mention this is the data they're collecting oh yeah I mean Foursquare if, if, if you tell Foursquare that you're at this place doing this thing wow I mean, yeah. geolocational ads is just one market where they can tap into. Sometimes and these guys, like, again, highly targeted ads. But, but people want to do this, things. though. That I mean, the check-in has, I think, proved itself. I think the check-in is a, a thing. I don't think it will be it's the very, thing. It's very new at the moment. The thing, but I think it's going to be one of them. Yeah. I mean, it's very odd that, I mean, the check-in is such an obvious thing, but I think it's just all of these uh, different ideas have coalesced into one cultural you know, change that we want to actually say we're doing this now. We hit a yeah. button, we say we're doing this. Tristan is doing this. Beep. Compulsive sharers. Hmm. I, I, I don't actually know. Like, I only found these today, but I, I actually think I will, might actually try... Uh, Get Glue is probably the one I'm going to use the most because yeah. the other one's more uh, state-based and I can't really use Philo because I'm in Beverly Hills. That doesn't really help me. And the other ones, I don't really watch any of these shows. Except for in <laughs> Entourage. Do you like Entourage? Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, those there. So, uh, yeah, definitely focus on... I think they're going to be pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I think... Well, uh, Let's okay. quickly say, fourth grade should be doing like in those geolocational things. I mentioned this a while back, I think. Just automatic check ins. Why should you have to, if your phone has GPS and mm. I mean, the iPhone 4 has background tasks now, Android's had it for a long time, it, it automatically knows you're at this place. It's just then a matter of like for working out what are you doing at that place. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Location isn't really the issue anymore. You shouldn't have to say, I'm here because my GPS already knows I'm here. You shouldn't have to check in with especially geolocational stuff. But then maybe down the track, this stuff might become automatic as well. That's where I think it's going to go. <laughs> I mean, this becomes a brilliant part of it, doesn't it? Like, I mean, why actually say you're watching this show? The computer should damn well know yeah. what you're watching. Especially if you're watching it on a computerized computer device. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, most TVs are going to move yeah. that way. I mean, I'm watch I watch pretty much most of my stuff on this screen anyway, on this laptop. So it yeah. should actually be there. And Windows Media Player integrates Get Glue. Yeah. So that's just, yeah. Interesting, I thought. Mm, what do you want? Okay, well, I guess we're just up to the... Oh, should we do the, the DJ thing? Okay. Well, it's a gimmicky last thing, though. But, um, okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this thing's really cool. It's, it's pretty futuristic. I don't know how they do it. Um... It's pretty intense. It's like a glass slate, and this guy just pulls up this whole DJ sort of pad, just it's just very basic sort of you know pastel colors and stuff. But he can actually mix tracks and play around with it. And oh, I'm gonna like this is gonna be in some DJ scenes and clubs around the world pretty soon. I think that just, just looks cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the word, but cool. Far out. It's, it's really Holy awesome. crap. Like it's glass, it's see-through from, from the back. Yeah. So like imagine Daft Punk or someone <laughs> up, in their, up in their pyramids just playing with this thing like all the way around. You're just mixing with the buttons yeah. up. This is cyberpunk right here. This is the birth of cyberpunk. Yeah. Well, like, cyberpunk's already <laughs> happened, but mainstream cyberpunk, fuck. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Damn. It's just through glass, like I don't know how it's doing. It must be a projector from some... Yeah. Or well, even just like touchscreen stuff. That, that's yeah. cool. Really cool. Links into the the holographic thing last week, even though that was yeah, yeah, it was that was like fake. fake but this yeah. is awesome. But this is real, and it's yeah. Shows you how to, it shows you how to. I'm, I'm guessing it shows you how to make it there. I'm not sure. I should learn some DJ skills. Just so I can mess with a giant colorful board and make the sound <laughs> happen. Well, they got that. Oh, the surface table as well. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. You, you twist the little blocks and it, and yeah. and it does it all. That's hectic. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, there's a whole site dedicated to it and working out how to make it and You're pretty regularly updated as well. Sweet. Kind of. Yeah. Nice. Cool. <laughs> oh well. Was that all you got? Was yeah, that's it. That's hey, two each. We're going to the singularity topic. Singularity. Yay. <laughs> hey, education. Where do we think the future of education is gonna be? Here we go. Education with the singularity. This is a 
big one. I mean, this links Very to what we mentioned this. this we'll, we'll, we'll mention it, yeah, to lead into it. Okay, well... Um, at this Techonomy conference, which, oh, you should check this out. It's very similar to the last, um, the InGenesis project we mentioned before, last week, I think it was. Um, Sweet. About how just we need a new economy and the new economy is going to be based on technology and innovation. Anyway, at this conference, Bill Gates said that in five years, the best education will come from the web. Like, bar none. There will be no, there will be no single university in the world that will That's be able to match the, web. the internet. And he said that he still thinks like high school and primary school will be the best, but uh, university, yeah. it'll at least be a competing way, but you'll still want to actually go and like talk with people yeah. with a similar mind, but the actual content, the web. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, this is, this is a big topic and there's, there's not a lot of... Where do you start? <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that's it. It's such an amazing thing. I mean, I guess, I, I don't know. It's, it's going to become more singular that it's going to be instead of like yeah. working for a company forever, like, you know, a company man and... Japan and all of that. It's hey, well, it's going to be less than that. I, I do start with the the company thing. Yeah, but well, look at the company. Okay, um, telepresence and basically working from home and using the internet. Company. The reason why companies really exist as you know single physical entities is because like you have people in an office block. They mm. all come together. They all live in one location because it's it's easier to to work it's together. Quicker, that way. Yeah. Whereas with telepresence and the internet, I mean you you can. Anyone can work for any company any place. anywhere in the world. Anytime. <laughs> and then you go further, anyone can work on any task for any company in the world. Yeah. You don't have At to work for one again. company. Yeah. And you start getting into that idea and it's, it's free. It really is. It, it, yeah. You, you say you want a task done and stuff and it goes from there. That, I mean, we've, I guess the, the biggest thing to actually see from this is that it's not just like a, a pie in the sky type idea that this is one of the largest growing segments around the world. I mean, you look at all of like Elance yeah. and Odesk and all of the other like, you know, freelance places that are getting a lot of the third like world to come in. Yeah, they're still at the third world level. Yeah, at where it's going to move up, I think, very much so to the first world. And we're seeing it more and more because it does work. Like this growth is, I don't know if it's actual exp- actually exponential, but it's growing at a ridiculous rate Yeah, that it... I mean, if you think about this like 20 years from now, I think that's a nice way to actually like view it just from there. Then I mean, why have an actual, say you're running a corporation or you're running something like that. If you needed some tasks done, why have a dedicated person where you're going to be paying like say, let's say 60 grand to a year where you could just say, I need just these tasks done and you chuck them up online. You say, I want these tasks done. You've done a bit of work with them before and you say, look, we'll find the best person at the best price. Yeah, that's it. Rather than... And it, you still have the social contracts there. You still have that you know this person it's worked well before, but you're not employing them the whole time because they don't need to be there the whole yeah. time. And I guess what well, we've kind of diverged a little bit off no, into no, no. jobs from there. Well, so that, if we no, understand the jobs and then we go well, into education. That's a good way because I mean, what is education? Education, the whole system is merely to prepare, you prepare for people jobs. for the jobs. Yeah. And uh, another point to make is, um, I mean, technology is progressing technical information and specific requirements for knowledge so fast at the moment mm. that I mean like you look at social media as a perfect example but it's going to get even more intense yeah um, like knowledge new dif- new skills are being demanded more quickly than any university system or education system can yeah. fill them yeah so I mean that kind of renders the whole three year degree obsolete you need perpetual learning. You, like, you can't just be you have three years and then you're okay for it like another twenty. Yeah. It, it it doesn't work that way, really. Or even just the whole like by the time you finish a three four year degree, half that knowledge is obsolete. Yeah. Or outdated. It needs to be relearned. Like we we went into um our university today and we just because they're thinking of if you could just say that. Yeah, batteries running out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, we went to our university today to the the commerce lecture. Because they're thinking of setting up an entrepreneurship major or degree or something, which most univer- like universities in the States already have. But uh, they're actually starting to think of doing it here. And, I mean, <laughs> that whole system is going to die. Like, they, they, they told us just for one single subject, it takes two to three years to implement, to get through all the bureaucracy yeah. and put together a curriculum. So, <laughs> by the time you actually notice that the market has a demand for a particular skill set say like three years and mm. then it takes say three years to develop a subject not not a course or a degree just a single subject and then say three years to actually get some students through it mm. you're talking like nine years from when the market first demands that particular skill to when university systems actually out can actually provide it can output a student a graduate who has that skill